uncharacteristic start for Detroit Catholic Central in the first round, facing Livonia Franklin. The Shamrocks fumbled twice and had an interception on their first three possessions. Quarterback Sam Landry lost the ball at the three-yard line, and Nate Robinson took it 92 yards as Livonia Franklin led 7-0 early. Right before the half, the Shamrocks defense made the play of the game to grab the momentum. Brandon Tamaro pressured Mike Beasley into throwing an interception. Butch Herzog ran it back 12 yards for a touchdown, and the Shamrocks never looked back, scoring four times in the second half for a 42-7 win. We came back and uh, got uh, got that interception, which was a key interception at the time to go ahead, and uh, made it 14 to seven, and that put us in a good note. So when we're in at half, you know, we just had to uh, readdress some things, get things settled down, and and come out and play our kind of football. The second round was a revenge game for the Shamrocks as they faced the Livonia Stevenson Spartans, who knocked them out of the playoffs the previous year. The Shamrocks scored early and often with Nico Palazzetti, Mr. Inside, leading the way with 29 carries for 166 yards and four touchdowns. Anthony Capitina, Mr. Outside, had 18 carries for 153 yards and one touchdown. The defense held Spartans running back number 23, Austin White, in check, recording their seventh shutout of the year. The victory was coach Tom Mack's 300th. He is the seventh coach in Michigan to achieve the milestone. We're going for 301! Yeah! In Coach Mack's style, we had no idea it was the 300th win because he wanted it to be all about us and uh, District 10 championships. So, I mean, we didn't even know until the assistant told, told us, and I found it in the newspaper and stuff. So, I mean, once we found out, it meant a lot more. And uh, we really wanted to get it for him and wanted to win in this type of fashion, just pounding the football CC style, so it was great. It means that I'm very old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's really great because all 300 have been here at Catholic Central, and you know I'm really proud of that fact. And it, when I first came in to Catholic Central, my goal was to make sure they didn't get fired in the first five years. And here we are 34 years later, and you know it's, it's been a great, a great ride. Canton Chiefs proved to be the toughest test of the playoffs for the Shamrocks. Every time Catholic Central scored, Canton responded. Palazzetti scored to put the Shamrocks up 10-3. On Canton's next play from scrimmage, Davian Stackhouse ran 68 yards for a touchdown. Palazzetti scored again on an 18-yard run, and then Adam Pater ran 75 yards for another Canton touchdown. The game went into overtime tied at 24. Capitino ran 10 yards, scoring the first play of overtime, and it was up to the defense. On 4th and 11, Andrew Nelson knocked the ball away and the Shamrocks escaped with a 31-24 victory. That's um, all hard work. We knew what they were going to do, or I knew what they were going to do. I knew it was going to be a slant. Like, that's our first priority. They were going to slant and I just did my job. That's all it is. You know, I, even during the game, I, I, you know, I, was, I was nervous at the outcome, but I was enjoying the fact that it was such a hard-fought game. And it was, uh, you know, it was a great game to be in. And, and both sides were playing tremendous football. And, uh, you, know, the, you know, you win in overtime and, you know, one guy has to go home. But, you know, both teams played a great game. Ready? All right, let's go, boys. Go, let's go. Let's go. 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 After playing at home three straight weeks, the Shamrocks and their fans had to travel to Lansing Everett to take on Holt. Rams quarterback Jordan Beach now came in with over 1,400 yards passing and over 1,000 yards rushing, but he couldn't crack Catholic Central's defense. At the end of the first half, the Rams had three chances from the Shamrocks' two-yard line, but got nothing to show for it. The 31-0 win was Catholic Central's eighth shutout. Now you know what the saying means when, when we say 48 minutes for a lifetime. Next week, that's it. It's 48 minutes left. Make it the best 48 minutes that we've played in our entire lives. We'll be state champions. Think about that. I've been waiting all my life to go to this, and it just means so much. I'm so excited to win it all. It's something you dream about as a kid. Um, it's a special, a special feeling. Uh, it's kind of surreal right now because I haven't really set in, but it, it's, I'm sure once it sets in, it's going to be a great thing. It's going to be, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go, baby, let's go.
Sterling Heights Stevenson's DJ Mershman took the opening kickoff of the championship game 45 yards into Catholic Central territory. The Shamrocks held the Titans to a field goal. Then Catholic Central turned to the two players who had led them offensively all season, Palazzetti and Capitina. Capitina scored from two yards out and the Shamrocks led 7-3. On their second drive, Palazzetti scored. The Shamrocks defense harassed Titans quarterback Jason Fracasa all game. Then the Shamrocks got a huge special teams play as Anthony Sealing blocked a punt and Nelson recovered at the Titans 14 yard line. Four plays later, Palazzetti put the Shamrocks up 21-3. In the second half, Fracasa found Mershman for a 75 yard touchdown. But Capitina restored the Shamrocks big lead with another touchdown of his own. Nelson intercepted Fracas on the Titans' next possession, and the defense held on the rest of the way for a 31-21 victory, the 10th championship for Catholic Central. Yeah! Well, I mean, that's what we've been working for ever since you come here. Freshman year, you always think about winning that state championship, and we got it. It feels great. You dream about, uh, I was talking to uh, a linebacker uh, and a fullback from the 98 team, Casey Rogowski. He just, he told me, he took me aside and just told me that to leave the playoffs with a win. Only one team can do it, and that's the greatest thing in the world. So I think we all wanted to, to feel that and uh, to actually feel that and accomplish it. It's, it's a dream come true. And it's a little overwhelming right now, but, I mean, it's, it's an absolute dream. The whole idea of that, you know, that you're on a journey from the beginning of the season until the end. And, you know, in your mind you say you're going to win the football game, but, you know, also there's a possibility that you might not. But in the end, you would have said, I would have said that the journey was, was wonderful no matter Win or lose, it was a wonderful journey because the kids were great. Uh, the association with them was great. My association with the coaching staff is, is wonderful. So that in itself, you know, has made it all worth it. Proudly wear your colors, the royal blue and white. May valiant blue and fearless white teach us to be men of Mary, alma mater.